Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival, and today we're going to take a look at some items from Lowe's that you could use in your prepping efforts. So here we got some drywall saws. These are great for bushcraft saws. They're probably a lot cheaper than bushcraft saws, and in many cases they perform just as well and are just as heavy duty. So take a look at those. You can make like kind of a homemade sheath for them and they work out great. Now we've got a safe here. Um, it's kind of a mid-sized safe, somewhere around 135 pounds. It'd be difficult for somebody to steal on their own. And you can keep your valuables and stuff like that in there. You could put firearms in there or cash or you know whatever you want just to keep it nice and safe, <laughs> as the name implies. So here we got a uh, security lock for your door just to improve your home security a little bit. Uh, a lot of people forget about putting uh, additional locks on their doors. I think that's really important. And another thing that is important is reinforcing your doors so that they're more difficult to kick in. Here we have a reinforcement plate that is going to make it just a little bit harder uh, to kick in. You can also add in some three inch screws uh, in the door jam and all that and that will uh, also make it a little bit more difficult to kick in as well. And now we got a little headlamp, um, and if you see the one over on the right there, that uh, is the LED band as well. I think those are super, super useful. The regular headlamps are good too, but I thought it was a pretty, pretty decent price on there. All right, having some extra uh, Romex around the house is a really good idea in case you have any, you know, uh, lighting projects or anything like that. But also, if you had to, um, you know, after some sort of a power outage or a long-term power outage, you may have to do some rerouting of wiring and things like that. I think having some of this stuff around is a good idea. Um, battery backups. I use these to uh, put into my to plug into my modems. That way, if the power goes out, I still have internet for you know a couple of hours or whatever. Um, which you know most power outages don't usually last much longer than a couple hours, so that kind of works out pretty well. Smoke and carbon monoxide uh, detectors. You know, if you haven't replaced those in your home, you should do that. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, in the last 10 years or so, and make sure you put in new batteries every September. Um, so that you don't have any issues with the batteries running down or anything along those lines. And a good uh, multiple 10 pound fire extinguishers. I think it's really important to put uh, 10 pound fire extinguishers, have one in your bedroom, one in a hall closet, maybe one in your kids um, closet, you know, and then on the way down to where you're going to exit your home, you know, so that you could have multiple options as you leave. These are the smaller um, smaller fire extinguishers and I've got a few of these stashed in multiple places uh, where it you know makes sense to have some where you know there could possibly be any fires or anything along those lines. Now these are breakers. Um, having some extra breakers is a good idea. You know, look ahead of time, find out what breakers you have in your box. Believe it or not, breakers do actually go bad sometimes. And if we had some sort of a coronal mass ejection or EMP or something like that, it's possible that you could experience some some damage to your breakers as well. And this is a, a cool little LED bar here. Uh, that's got some work lights on it and I thought that was kind of neat and it would probably be a decent thing to have if you're going to use a portable generator to provide you power. Uh, this is this would give you some lighting when you're you know um, out there working maybe you know filling up a generator or something or you could take it inside the house and use it uh, just depending on where you needed to use it but I thought it was pretty cool. And then here we got some multimeters again uh, tracking down electrical problems and you know things of that nature. It's always good to have a good multimeter so you can figure out what's going on. And this next one is LED bulbs. You know, changing your house over from incandescent to LED bulbs is a great way to save a lot of money on your electricity bill. And here we just got some uh, solar powered uh, lights for, you know, security around your place. You can put them around your sheds, put them out on your chicken coops, you know, keep the, the um, predators away, uh, put them on just the corners of your homes and stuff like that. It's just a good idea all around to have a well lit home. And of course, everybody's probably seen these. They got a pretty good price on them right now, um, $11.98. But these, these totes are really great for storing things in and getting your organization squared away. And then just make sure to label the outside of those containers so that you can you know, find things when you need it really easily. 
Here's just a mini fridge, a small fridge and uh, freezer combo. This is a good idea, especially if you're running uh, on a smaller, like a solar power battery, where you know you don't want to draw so much current um, from a larger refrigerator. This might be able to get you through, you know, until the uh, power comes back on. And here we've got a uh, Low Country boiler kit, um, which is great for boiling water or warming up water for you know baths and sanitation purposes and stuff like that. Um, one of these just makes life a whole lot easier as opposed to trying to do a couple of quarts at a time. And here's just a uh, little grill, little propane grill. Uh, this one's an infrared, and um, these work well, you know, if you're having to cook and stuff. If you don't have a full-size uh, barbecue grill or whatever, you can use one of these small ones, even like in an apartment complex, if you got a little deck or something like that outside. And then here, if you're having to go out and collect your own water, then it's great to have a good, clean receptacle to put it in, and, and that's easy to, to drink from as well. And these igloo containers work perfect for that. And here's just uh, some shop towels and some Tyvek suits on the um, nuclear preparedness side. The Tyvek suits could come in handy, and if you had to go outside during a fallout situation, we've got a video on that. And then the, the cotton towels, the cotton shop towels are great for sanitation as far as being a toilet paper substitute and something that you could wash out and reuse. Okay, and then we've got some uh, plastic sheeting. Uh, again, good for sealing up the home if you have a wind vent or get you know uh, some kind of uh, broken windows or something along those lines. Then you can kind of seal everything up. Could also be used for shelter if needed. And here's some window film, and that is just to uh, basically make to obfuscate your windows so they can't be seen through so easily, especially those windows like right along the edge of the door. Um, you know, where people can kind of look through and see what's going on in your house. Uh, I think it's a good idea to put some window film on there. And then here's some uh, rat and mouse killer. This is a great uh, version I've used several times, and you can use that preventatively to keep any mice from getting into or around your food preps. Um, and, and doing this is <laughs> a smart idea because I've, I've had mice get into it before, and it ain't no fun. And then here we go, some larger, um, what are these, 100-pound uh, um, propane containers. Having a couple of these is, is a lot easier than having, a, you know, five or six of the smaller 20-pound uh, ones and having to switch them out, you know, more frequently. It's, it's kind of nice having something big like this. And then uh, here we've got some gutter extensions. Getting a flooded basement is always a pain in the butt. And the, the number one reason for getting flooded basements is because you're not directing the water out away from the foundation. Having some of these extensions, these gutter extensions, can really keep your basement from getting flooded and help out a lot. And then clogged gutters, again, overflowing right at the over the top of the um, gutters is going to push that, that water right down into the foundation wall. And if you've got any cracks, it's going to start filling your basement up. So making sure that you've got screens over your gutters and or that you keep your gutters clean, either way you want to go, is just a good idea. Anyhow, guys, that's just a few items that I found at my local Lowe's that I thought might be useful for your prepping efforts. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.